Good morning. Welcome to the homestead. Well, this morning, bright and early, I am starting off with um, exposing the zucchini. I'm trying to look for the male and female flowers because I've got flowers all over here and uh, they need to be pollinated. I really hate the idea of exposing them to the elements but and those stupid squash bugs and squash worms that will kill them off but at this point there's flowers and they said remove the netting when flowers appear so we can get some zucchini that's what I'm doing Okay, it looks like all the flowers, the center of all the flowers is kind of the same, so I'm not sure if they're all male or if they're all female. I'm going to have to look at a picture. But if you only get one sex, how are you going to fruit? Well, they look big and strong. I hope they are. The netting might have blocked some of the wind and um, kept them, you know, stronger. Um, and maybe they're weak, you know what I mean? Because if there's nothing supporting them, maybe they don't have the strength. We'll, we'll see. Um, but they look beautiful. Now, I don't know if somebody will come and pollinate them, but it would be nice because I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'm going to take some of this diatomaceous earth and I'm going to put it around the stock of the zucchini, where the base where the, um, the little moths usually fly in and lay their eggs. And hopefully this, this will stop some or all of that from happening. One of the things that I did not do very good in planting the garden was is I put all the soil in there and then I planted. But it didn't have time to settle. And so there's not as much dirt. There's like half the dirt I put in there. And so I need to um, next year make sure that the dirt is all the way to the top because there's not a lot of dirt supporting these roots. Not really. And so um, we'll see how they do once they start fruiting. Watermelon. So it got me at least one really good one starting. You saw that. What is that? Bigger than a ping pong ball. And then two more starting right there. This is exciting. So I, I may not get a big crop of anything but I'm getting some things you know like those three really big tomatoes I got yesterday and uh, really beautiful tomatoes so all I need is a little bit I got pickles growing or cucumbers and growing inside but they aren't doing so good um, but uh, but I got them so this is good next year after reading up over over the period of time and trial and error I might have a real garden next year. We'll see. We'll see how this one turns out. Anyway, I've cared for the garden. Now it's time to go do some work.
Okay, we've got this limb that has broken off and is into our um, cat Avery section that we're trying to build. It's slow going, I know. Anyway, um, I wanted to pull it and see if I can get it. So get it back over on that other property so we can proceed with this agenda. Eclipse is here, so I don't want to hurt her. She's just laying down not in the way of the tree so maybe maybe it'll still be okay maybe when I start moving on it oh here comes stray right now strays behind us Shh. okay I followed her in and I fed her she she's getting much more brave about me being there when I first stepped in she hissed at me and I says come on now you want to eat don't you and then she just waited and I pushed the button to the feeder and it dropped the food before I it could even really pull away she was up there so she must be pretty hungry the little tiny gray cat not the other ones but just the gray cat is in the garage and has been in the garage since sometime during the night I guess I fed it earlier it's a cutie patootie yes it is anyway maybe it'll get used to my voice and won't run so um, Eclipse took off when she saw Stray she likes to follow Stray and um, so I guess I'll see if I can do this Okay, the tree is successfully out of the other tree. And so now it's laying on the ground, but it's also laying across our, our wire. So I think I'll go get some cloppers. Um, I think they're right out here from when we left them yesterday. And um, clop some of the branches so I can just easily lift them off of that, um, that line. I don't think we actually even need the line because all the fence posts are in place now. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go get the cloppers. Okay, that task is done. Now, on to find something else to do. When we cleaned up the tree branches over here on this side of the garage, we left a lot of little broken pieces. So I'm just gonna use the rake and clean up all the little broken pieces of uh, limbs that are down here. Okay, I'm going to go get the wheelbarrow so I can load these things up. Okay, that looks good. I think I'll get the weed eater and chop down uh, the tall grass that's here. Nothing's growing here. We didn't clean it up earlier because this is a muddy spot of the yard, so nothing really grows. Uh, it'd be a good place if the trees weren't continuing 
falling to um, put a carport because it's wide enough and uh, we still might do that in the future but first we've got to make sure that nothing's going to come crashing down on top of it and so anyway um, weed eater I'm going to be right back okay not weed eating uh, we didn't charge the battery Lee didn't want to leave it plugged in for the 10 days we were gone so he set it off to the side and when we got here out of sight out of mind and we didn't push it into the charging station too bad uh, I don't think we'll do that again we used to leave it partly slid out and uh, then push it in when we got here because it was right there and it, we'd push it in and then it could either charge or if it was already charged we just pull it right back out a little bit and uh, then use it we didn't do that this time year and a half of working here on the property and we didn't do it this time did something new and here we are two days in and we cannot weed eat <sighs> okay Ooh, the breeze feels really nice it's coming right in here and oh my gosh it's so hot today I think it's like 94 so anyway I could mow um, to mow I'd have to open up the garage and I don't want to disturb little gray kitty so I don't know what I'll do stay tuned last two logs are too heavy for me I got my wheelbarrow over here full with uh, sticks so I'm going to take it to the burn pile we've got these purple bins sitting outside and they've slowly but surely began to deteriorate and fall apart they were just over there near the, the shed and uh, we've kind of just ignored them for a long time so I thought maybe I would stop ignoring it and uh, go ahead and uh, break it up and put it in the trash. Okay, I'm at the burn pile. I used the rake and I opened it up and oh, the heat coming from it. And there was a little log that was kind of sitting on the side that was burning slowly. I popped it in the center and it started in flames. So I'm going to go ahead and put this pile in the wheelbarrow on that flame and just let it cook. There's a lot of heat coming off that fire and it doesn't look like it should be that hot but those coals stayed hot overnight and it's a hot day so got it good and wet around there now I'm gonna walk away and go do something else
Okay, there you go. I am covered head to toe in dirt and grass. Uh, it's a lot, lot drier than how we have been mowing. We've been mowing and it's been really gummy in the blades. And this, I am just covered in dirt and dust. So, craziness. But that's how I'm going to end the day. Dirty. I'll get in that shower. Anyhow, thanks for watching. God bless y'all. You be sure to like, share, press the notification bell, and subscribe. And go ahead and comment. And we'll see you next time on The Homestead. Bye-bye now.